What a money mess. This is what we're dealing with, Ben. They can't stay in there or they're gonna get sick. They're done with their job. They gotta get out of here. It's been raining for days, like almost nonstop. Like this, drizzling or downright pouring. A lot of hinges on this thing starting this morning. Moving the A-frame, getting fences out. Started. Yeah. I need a nut for this trailer though. Oh no, what? Not a nut, I need a bolt. Look at this. And when you want to load Oh nice. Does that work? Oh yeah. That's your job. Morning sunshine. It's raining. <laughs> it can't stop us, can it? The rain never hurt anybody. That's the whole reason we gotta do this. Oh, there are more sheet nets oh, over there. way more. How many more? Uh, like two on each rack, and there's a lot of racks. And then okay. this is sheet netting, that, no. These three. And the thing is, it's not gonna stop anytime soon. And we've gotta butcher some pigs in a little over a week, and there ain't nothing but straight up mud at this point. They've gone in and done our gardening, they've gone in and done our tilling, and because it's wet, it sped up the process and now what in the world are we going to do with them for a little over a week? I have a wheel off. That's going to be a problem. Getting in here when they're not distracted with food is also going to be a problem. Hold on, get in. Just wait right there, honey. Uh, there's the wheel. Underneath this guy. Or gal. Okay, good. The bearing's in there. The other bearing's on the wheel. Okay. The question is a nut. I found a nut. I've been carrying it around. I don't know if it's the right size. Shoot. It's not with me all of a sudden. There it is. Too big. Okay. We're gonna have to find a nut. The size of that. I have. I have a bunch of nuts we can look through. You ready, Mr. Brown? Yeah. Okay, we got our nut. Let's go. My eyes deceive me. It's oh, yeah. It's nine sixteenths. I was wrong on a bolt size. You do it with your eyes calibrated this morning. Ben, while you're doing that, I'm gonna go set up the net where they're going. All right. I don't have any more gardens to till. The major tilling is done, and I'm afraid the pigs are gonna get sick, and that would just be terrible after raising the guinea hogs for 10 months. And these guys, we've just had the bigger guys for a little while, but still, one week out, we don't want them to get sick. We gotta do something. We're gonna put the pigs in this whole wooded area. And that means we need to go all the way around with our net. We're on our second strand. A fence, that's, I think we're gonna make it. I mean, we're gonna have to make it. How many fence, fences does Ben have, Jonah? Oh, no. We still gotta go way up there and then down. Okay, there's more in the trailer. Yeah. Let's go on faith that we're gonna make it. Let's grab this one. This one kind of unraveled. <laughs> you boys are doing great. They're bringing up nets for us. We made it, I think, with three nets, maybe four. And we're up here. We're up at the top. We're gonna start going back down. I see Ben down there. I see Nets. We're gonna make it. Tying together the last piece here. We did it. I mean, what other fence can you encompass a huge area like this 
in probably 15 minutes. That was absolutely incredible. So I've got an idea, and I think it's to my advantage in two ways. One is, let's, let's move them into the woods. That's the pig's very most natural environment, and it's dry there, so let's get them in the woods. Also, two, the woods, I think that are they gonna be the easiest to put them in also happen to be closer to the barn where we're gonna be butchering them. So we're not only getting them out of the mud, we're getting them into the woods, and we're getting them closer to where we're gonna need them for the butchering. We've got the fence up now. This is either gonna be the greatest idea I've ever had or the worst. Because the pigs are way over there, across the public road, it's not very busy across a ditch, across a flo another flow, uh, actual flowing ditch. We gotta get them right there. We could have done shoots with all these nets. We could have done a lane. Get them in here in a small pen, then gone back and get all that lane and then put all this up. Or we could get 87 people here. One, two, three, four, five, eight boys. And grab this pig net Double it up on each other. Surround the pigs with it and walk them over here, leaving them with food. You think that's gonna work, guys? I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> You've had confidence. pigs before. I have confidence. Okay, okay. Let's hope. What do you think, Hollers? Is that gonna, is that gonna be the best idea well, that I ever had or the worst? My last crazy idea worked, so we'll just go with My it. My what? Your last crazy idea worked. Which was what? Uh, leading the pigs out to the yard from the barn. I know, with no fences. With no no fences. fences. Not good. I didn't like how they spread out there. That's why I'm gonna add this fence element to it. It's like Meg will be holding those posts, right? And we'll be circled around the pigs. And let's say the pigs are starting to come this way, Meg. Okay? And I'll be in the middle with the bucket trying to lead them this way and you guys will be walking along with me. Okay. So we're gonna practice when we walk down. Jonah, grab this post. Brett, grab this one, please. I'm gonna be in the middle, say. Now y'all surround me. Pretend there's pigs. Pretend I got pigs here, y'all. There he goes, Jonah, get, Jonah, you need to come all the way down to Melissa. Now I say I'm a pig, I'm coming this way. Put it down, fast. Yeah, you're perfect. <laughs> 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 okay, come together. Melissa. Okay, I'm the pig. You ready? Yeah. Good. Oh, good. You guys got this. You guys got this. Now move. let's move. So the pigs are going moving here. Hey, you guys stay together. You guys got to watch each other. Okay, Ben's on it. Good, you're on it. Okay, good job, Mr. Brown. Good, you're on it. Okay, good job. Right, ready? We're ready. Let's roll. Now, if they spill this some, they might stop. Let's just take our time. Okay. Good job, guys. You're doing, you're doing great. Everybody's doing great. Laurel, no. Oh, shoot. We did not put Laurel up. Hey, watch. Good job, buddy. You got it, Brett. Okay. You guys are doing great. Can you come hold Mr. Brown? Watch it, watch it. What are we waiting on? Oh, watch it. Tight, keep tight. Jonah. Mom thought Joe's did it. So if they come to you, you can No, we don't. It's a normal day at the road park. I know. Don't get hung. Don't get your fits hung. Give Mr. Brown, you're doing great. You guys are doing great. Everybody's doing great. Good job, Melissa. David, you're doing a good job. Yes, we're so going we're straight there. Swing. Okay. You guys will do the open. Oh, we'll just get you in there. You guys will lift it up. Let's go in there quite a bit, though. Yeah. like the briars. Guys. Okay, everybody, hands up! Woo! Woo! I could have went real bad. That worked so brilliantly. I, I, I was actually shocked at actually how how well that worked. The pigs 
those pigs, for some reason, my guinea hogs will follow a bucket all day long. Those pigs will not. But they did respect that electric fence and we were able to move them. We got them over here. This feels so right. Not a bit of mud, a little bit of stream. If they want something to drink. Does this feel right, Ben? It looks right too, doesn't it? Okay, we'll get the rest of their feed. But the day's not over. We gotta go back down, move the chickens and the guinea hogs. Right here, you can see the guinea hogs and the chickens are just, they're in crazy mud too. So my plan for them is we have that pasture out there. Sure, we can't leave them there for this week, two days, or else they're gonna kill it. And I don't need any more garden beds. So we're gonna move them, I don't know, every couple of days. We're gonna use these two fences to make an even bigger territory. And just let them roam on the grass and fatten up on grass before the harvest. I think that's a good last week of their life. Okay, who's who's uh, ready to gird up their loins and pull this chick shaw? They brought the out Okay. Do you know where, uh, if I... Jonah, do we have another, uh-oh. <laughs> Come on, welcome Come on, hey, David's got the bucket. The See, you're standing here with the feet. Okay, take advantage of it, David. Look at these guys, they just follow it. You ain't beating us, get on it. Another point for the guinea hogs for the homestead pig right there. They follow a bucket. Pull some of the big stuff out. And uh, the feed pan is not clean. Jonah, Jonah, we're not doing that unless we have another line. Get their shelter. Yes, boss. Okay. I'm probably going to need help with this shelter in this mud. Yeah, Rebecca, will you film this? Oh, God. There's so much mud. It's insane. Alright. Who wants to help me? Not me. You. Okay, Derek, you sure about that? Yeah, you're in Tennessee. That's people's boots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. You have to deal with the mud in, in your camper. You don't like mud in your <laughs> in the, trailer? I was just going to say, 200 square feet, like, you love it. Oh, Megan looks like she's going to come. <laughs> Megan's going to come on. I got my boots on. Ben. Yep. Spin it around. Good job, guys. Get back on that hump. What are you guys talking about? Moving the A-frame. A -frame. That's going to be fun. So I'm going to have him pull it with the mower. Yeah. That way, out. In down the road. <laughs> Justin's like, maybe that's you a good idea. You need to. <laughs> um, and then, maybe, especially going up. I think you go to the right of the bus. And after that's over, it's like five minutes after nine. And you got to milk. We've had the calves up. It's time to milk. So we decided that I would go milk while Ben and David and the others go and move the A-frame. Lost your bolt. Good job. There you go. Now you have a house. This is devotional. This is relaxing.
now that's all over that's been a spectacular day cheers to community cheers to folks coming together and making something that would have been so much more difficult alone uh, I would have had to like mark out lanes with the electric fence up through there and then got them in a holding area and then picked up the lanes and made the fence it's just no way this would have been an all-day project without them so cheers to community thank you Ben and Megan from Holler Homestead YouTube channel and thank you for thank you David and Melissa members of our do-it-yourself abundance area coming out and getting the farm experience and getting your hands dirty thank you thank you thank you we got to check we got to check and see if the Great American Farm Tour is up I thought yesterday might be the fourth business day but then Rebecca reminded me it's President's Day there was a President's Day so maybe today is the fourth business day let's see if my movies is published the great american farm tour oh snap come on so maybe today maybe today is the fourth day and it'll be up by the end of the day i'll be honest with you i've hit refresh 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 on the screen to see if the great american farm tour has published and i just did it i mean i gave up turning on the camera but I just did it and it is, it's published. No way. It's published. Rebecca. Congratulations. It's published. Let's see if we can actually look at it. Let's get the orange off the screen. That's awesome. Okay. Oh my word. There it is. Watch now. What? You can watch it now on your phone. Do it. Oh, because I'm not on my iPhone. Okay. American Farm Tour. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Now I see it. Wow. The Great American Farm Tour. Included with your Prime membership. Wow. wow it looks so good. Becky, I wish you could see this. Let's, let's watch it right now. Let's watch it right now. There it is. Rebecca, we're on Amazon Prime. That's great. I can do it. Watch this movie. Made it as a movie maker now. I've got DVD and that's on Amazon Prime. We can watch this on Saturday. We can watch this on movie night Friday night if we wanted to. Maybe we can change our world around. Truck. I'm this gonna, is it for I'm sure. I'm gonna cry. Oh. It's okay, precious girl. Remember all those talks we'd have at night? Talking about doing something crazy and just traveling all over America. But come morning time, we'd always have some great reason. Why not to? What finally took us over the edge? I asked myself, what would I do if I wasn't afraid? <laughs> Can't believe we bought a bus. <laughs> Welcome to our bus home. Richard Prennecke, beyond was all around me. The dream was a dream no longer. I suppose I was here because this was something I had to do. Not just dream about it, but do it. The first reason we were doing this was to discover and learn from the greatest farms in America. The mop stocking, herbivorous solar conversion, lignified carbon sequestration, fertilization. Perfect amount for us. This is our steampunk rocket mass heater of science. What's the point of having all this delicious food if you're not gonna like do your best to enjoy it? I felt like we had a tough decision to make because we're on family property and, and we had to decide, is this where we wanna settle for the rest of our life? Maine was the first state I would say that Justin and I kind of looked at each other and said, hmm, kind of feels like home here. I wanted so bad to keep an open mind for Colorado. They have these open 
ranges, it's beautiful, it's sunny, and there's mountains. We set out in search of the greatest farm in America, and what we discovered absolutely shocked us. Being able to like grow your own food, that's huge. Uh, the reason I planted so many strawberries and I like I grow strawberries is because I like them. So this is our blueberry field. You know, make sure you get that one because it's the only one fruiting. Okay. <laughs> Well, so that the mulberry and the cherry are okay. pretty too, but yeah. No, I get it. I get it. We want to showcase We're this. just so impressed you... because I think there's like, what, 100 peaches in here? Look at the wonderful place. They just already look at home. They're just down grazing. Okay, North Carolina. Let's give her a good hello. I'm gonna lay down right there. Okay. Touch this soil. <laughs> <laughs>